Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'll be talking to you guys about another of the new launch from Nykaa and it's their Get Tricky Blush Duo. So Nykaa launched these blushes along with their highlighters. The day they have launched the highlighters, they also released their blushes. But they did not launch these blushes officially at the same time. But few days ago, I saw Nykaa launched on their Instagram about these blushes. So I thought it's time that I review onto the blushes as well. So packaging wise, these are same. There is nothing special about the packaging. And when you look at the blush, they look exactly like their highlighters. And you also get same amount of product that is 9 grams of product. That means in each pack, you get 4.5 grams of product. And they release their blushes in three shades. And I picked up one of their shades. And the shade I picked up is called uh, Brazilian something Brazilian bombshell 01 and just like their highlighters they also have written their product name like shade names on the back of the product so the shades that you get on the Brazilian bombshell is the rose is this color right here and the resin is this color right here and as I can myself see on the product they look shimmery they have a little bit of sheen to it I have not touched them yet or not not even swatched it so I'm gonna do it along with you guys so the first shade I have been face swatching is the shade called uh, Rose and this is a really pretty uh, browny pink color and oh these are pigmented this is how the rose looks like and the next shade we have here is called a resin which is a pale pinky mauve color and I'm going to swatch it right here and yeah it's not showing up yeah, we get the I hope my camera is picking the color up yeah the shade resin is not really showing up on my skin but the shade rose is showing up really well on the skin and looks really pigmented so as you can see on my face, I have everything on except for the blush and the highlighter because I like to wear the blush first and then I see if I need the highlighter or the sheen from the blush doing the job of the highlighter. And to demonstrate this product, the first shade I'll be taking is called Rose, this color right here. I'm going to put that all over my cheeks, starting from the apples of my cheeks and towards the high up on the cheekbone. And then I'll be popping up the resin color just on the apple of my cheeks so that we have a pop of color on the cheeks but without being too clowny looking because the shade rose will do the job of the radiation so first shade i'm gonna take in the shade called rose and i'm gonna go in from the apples of my cheek towards the high up on the cheekbone so starting from the apple oh these are pigmented i've taken really tiny amount and i have tap up the excess as well and still you see there is a lot of the pigment that is going on on my face it's kind of too much okay so for some reason it kind of looks for some reason the shade is kind of going really patchy on my skin and you can see the difference right over here let me zoom you guys in i'm not sure if you can see the difference here's my blush but it looks really patchy and it look, does not look blended i'm going in with my powder blush to make sure it goes blended now it looks really nice and blended i'm gonna try the color on the other side as well but this time i'm gonna make sure that i have everything really matte and really plain and smooth so that i'm giving a really fair chance of the blush to go on smoothly so i'm taking a little bit of the powder and just sweeping over the area where i need to apply the blush so that the powder makes sure that it does not go patchy on the skin so now everything is really smooth no i don't feel anything on my face no oiliness no stickiness now i'm gonna take the shade rose again very tiny amount and tap off the excess starting from the apple towards the cheekbones okay so this is going really well 
I'm doing a little more of the shade rose just to layer it up to get the same kind of vibe that is going on this side. Uh, okay. Okay, as I layer it up, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm getting patches right over here and it is not blending completely. I kind of have to work really hard. I mean, I feel like I have to work really hard to get the blending done really properly. So, I'm going back with my powder brush to make sure everything is blended. This side as well. Okay, so we have the shade rose down now I'll be taking the shade called resin this color right here that is a pale pinky mauvey color and I'm gonna put that just on the apple of my cheeks and not all over like I did with the shade rose so I'm taking the shade uh, called resin tapping off the excess and I'm gonna just concentrate it on the apple only It is going well. I'm taking a little more. I'm gonna apply on this side. Also on the nose. One tip I've learned that if you apply a little bit of the blush on the nose, it can make your makeup look really natural and no one can even guess that you have makeup on. They're not able to understand it by looking at the blush placement that you did. So if you apply a little bit on the nose, the makeup looks even more natural. Unless you're going for a full full coverage look, that time I wouldn't recommend you to put a little bit blush on the nose because that will not look good. Putting blush on the nose only applies if you are going for a very natural look. Otherwise, don't go for the blush on the nose. That will suck. I've got the plus man. I still feel my blushes looking patchy it could be because i am sick and my skin also not doing really great at this moment i'm having some dry patches on my skin and i hope you could probably tell by my voice that i'm sick so this blush i will give you more tries and then maybe i can do the updated review onto the nika get cheeky blush duo so as of now, since this is the first impression, I kind of like it. I really like the color combination that is going on here. But I felt like the blending was an issue. I had to blend really well before I get the desired, you know, blended look on my face. So maybe I will give a few more goes for this one. I thought I would apply the highlighter on the face but I feel like the blush itself has a really nice sheen to it. The blushes are not completely matte. It has some sort of sheen to it which is not very blinding but gives a really natural sort of a glow. As you can see here, I am moving my face. You can see a little bit of the glow and the shine is coming through the blush. I forgot to mention that this also retails for 6.99 rupees and as i said you also get nine grams of product so overall first of all i really like the color combination that it has i feel like i can also use this color on my lid for a you know monochromatic look i also like it has a magnetic closure overall for the first impression i like it i kind of don't like it i felt like i spent a lot more time in the blending of the color to get the desired blended look although they are pigmented but i feel like i would rather go for something less pigmented which i can build up on the skin rather than having the pigment just on the face and not able to blend properly so i think for the first impression it was kind of you know okay for me i'm not really blown away with the formulation and the blendability with it but i am really impressed how pigmented it was but sometimes as i said if a product is really pigmented it can take a lot more time to get a properly blended look than having to you know build up on the color so yeah that's all for today's first impression i really hope you enjoyed it let me know what you guys think about this product if you have tried it and if you haven't what do you guys think about it also let me know if you want me to do an updated review onto this or no and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care bye guys